Hi creatives and welcome back to Agency Academy. My name is Malin and here on the channel we talk about how to build a business that really works for you so you have more freedom to create and do the things that you love. Today I want to talk about something that I really really love but I've noticed a lot of people actually don't use and that is a handoff package, basically offboarding your clients not just onboarding them. I've created a free template for this, so if you want to check that one out, you can go to the link in the description uh, to our blog and just uh, download it from there. So before we start, what is a handoff package and why should you have one? So I think that a handoff package is a really, really good way to make sure that you get more referrals, more repeat business and testimonials, but also it gives your client a really, really clear end of the project and a nice way to wrap up the relationship or be able to continue it moving forward. So it's basically giving your clients a great experience and encouraging them to continue the relationship with you. I like to create one as like a PDF, for example, that you can have as a template and then just send it to your clients. And I like to include a couple of different sections every time. The first one is just a thank you section. So this is basically just talking about the project that you've just done, how much you enjoyed working with them, and how lovely it was that they chose you as the creative person for their project. Next up, I like to have a section that makes it super easy for them to access all the work that you've just created. So this can just purely be, let's say, links to a cloud storage service, or you can have, let's say, a client portal on your site where you can have a link to them logging in, for example, uh, and maybe including the password and login information in this PDF. So just making sure that it's super easy for them to access all the files that you've actually created. And this also will make it a lot better for you in the future because they will have this document and instead of trying to remember which email that you linked the final designs in and trying to look for it, they will actually have an easy way to grab it, which means they won't be asking you three months later which email it was that you sent things in. So it'll save you time as well. And it looks more professional. Next up, we're getting to the repeat business bit. And so I like to include either a list of services that I offer or a small pitch for how to move forward. And which one you choose really depends on your relationship with this client. If it's a company that you've just worked with a little bit and they might be interested in something, but you're not quite sure exactly what the best fit, I think having a list of services is super valuable. And that's because most clients actually don't know everything that you offer. They might not check out your website for everything that they need. They might just think that you offer exactly what it is that they just hired you for. So including a list of services just increases the chances of them thinking, oh, well, that's helpful, and then hiring you for something else. If it's a client that you think, okay, well, maybe you've designed the brand for them and it would be a really, really good idea for them to have social media templates, for example, then you can make a more of a pitch where you're actually explaining the benefits and how that fits in with the, the work that you've already done and why you're the right person. And clients tend to like um, people that they've already got a relationship with. So it's a lot less risky for them to hire you because they've already worked with you. They know that you offer work, good work and good quality. So this is a good way to keep that relationship going. Lastly, I think it's always good to have a section where you're asking for a referral or a testimonial, or you could even do both. And make sure that it's as easy as possible for your client to give you these. So you could have, let's say, a link to give a testimonial on uh, Google, for example, uh, or you can offer a referral program where you're giving an incentive for your client to refer someone, maybe, let's say, 10% of the actual project if someone goes ahead and hires you because they recommended them. So something where it makes it both incentivized and easy for your client to make these choices. Like I mentioned in the beginning, uh, I actually made a template for this. So if you want to go grab that one, it's the link in the description. And I'm super curious if you guys also use handoff packages and um, what it looks like, because I'm sure there are so many formats I've never thought about in terms of handoff packages. So I hope you thought this was really helpful. Uh, I'm really excited to be talking about working with clients. And so if you have any ideas for topics like that, uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe, comment and engage. It's super fun to see when you guys um, interact with the videos. Uh, and super good luck with your projects and see you next time.